Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And as you can see, we've already started here. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Loose ball, who's going to get there? And he's made sure that that won't get through. Caught offside that time. Didi, and it's Iwobi. Shapes to shoot! A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Improvisation and execution. Nigeria have an early lead. Good start. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Away from immediate danger. Deftly done. It's a brilliant interception. Keeper sends it forward. Pass needed to be better than that. And he knows it. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. It's a throw. way oh, good steal he just read it yeah. 
Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. There are a few waiting for it. And it's hoisted clear. to locate someone up front well positioned to make that interception Ndidi and it's played forward Nigeria are ahead here it has been a good half for them Forward it goes. He's pinged one through here. Timely intervention. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. got through we can get that clear and the first 45 minutes are up and there we are, off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal which is very, very tight well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game the players seem to have clicked well there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking no one's afraid to have a go. Nigeria come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. clear and here's it will be and it's a wobi well, the defense got the better of him this time but I'm sure he'll go again well the crowd aren't happy they wanted a shot and it didn't arrive across the field it goes it's got through to him. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. some whip on it and needed a better pass there he's got away so Jim what are you thinking well Peter if they're attempting to see out the game with great leap right with his head but couldn't steer it in do I really need to tell you Peter that he has to do better especially from there Get the better of his opposite number. Nigeria are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. towards the front line oh good interception Ndidi 
hoists it forward. And helps available out wide. It's gone out for a throw in. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Tries to get it forward quickly. Nigeria certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. It is just a question of running down the clock now. That's been interesting. And there goes the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. What are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.